Hello guys, welcome to my channel Lifestyle Tech. So guys, often uh, people ask about you know which phone to buy with the budget of rupees ten thousand. Now there are a lot of uh, phone which are available in the market, but uh, today I'm gonna talk about my top three pick of uh, three phones. In fact, which are available in the market, which has a good brand value also, and which comes under a budget of rupees ten thousand. Now, uh, when we discuss about these top three phones, we look about the uh, performance. How does the phone performs? The display, the build quality, the processor, whether it's a gaming processor or not, because nowadays gaming is something which everyone looks at, and also the most important camera. How does the camera performs? So we will be evaluating all. All these factors in this top three phones that I'm gonna talk about. So before we start this video, my name is Suham and my channel name is Lifestyle Tech. So please do like and subscribe for more such content. So let's start the video. Okay, guys. So we will start it from three to one. Now the third phone that is on my list. Uh, is the Realme Narzo 20A. This phone has been recently launched and there are a host of features which are available in this phone. Now there are two variants of this phone which is available in the market. One is 3GB with 32GB of storage and one is 4GB RAM with 64GB of storage. So we are talking about here about the 4GB and 64 uh, variant of storage. Now this phone with 4GB RAM and 64GB storage comes with a price of rupees 9499 now what all features are here in this phone so let's go by point wise so this phone comes with a 6.5 inch hd plus display and it comes with a dew drop notch display now the screen clarity is really good which has an hd clarity function and content consumption is really good uh, if i talk about the camera it has got three cameras in the back the primary camera is a 12 megapixel camera which will give you a clear and crisp picture there is also a depth sensing of 2 megapixel camera and there is also a macro lens of 2 megapixel so i think the photo quality wise uh, the picture quality would be really good and sharp and crisp and uh, you know it has got an 8 megapixel selfie camera and uh, definitely if you see it is an upgrade from narzo 10a and uh, in narzo 10a the front megapixel was a 5 megap uh, megapixel selfie camera but here in 20a you get an 8 megapixel and if i talk about the battery it has got a 5000 mAh battery backup and uh, the processor it has got a qualcomm snapdragon 665 processor which is definitely good and a fast processor and you can play all the games in this processor uh, so if i talk about it is definitely a good upgrade from narzo 10a to narzo 20a that we're talking about and with a price range of 9499 so guys i think this phone really performs a good narzo uh, realme narzo 20a with a price range of 9499 and you guys should definitely check it out okay guys so the second phone that i'm talk, uh, talk about is the moto e7 plus now this phone is for people who is looking for good camera ra good ram good storage and definitely a stock android experience so we are talking about the moto e7 plus now this comes with a 4 gb of ram and 64 gb of storage with a price range of 9499 and also it has got a dedicated micro sd card slot through which you can expand the memory uh, so the rear camera comes with a 48 megapixel which is really good the picture clarity comes really good and crisp it also has got a 2 megapixel depth sensing camera now the selfie camera is a 8 megapixel selfie shooter camera and the uh, the quality of the selfie cameras are really good if i talk about the screen the screen comes with a 6.5 inch hd display screen and uh, also it comes with an Qual qualcomm snapdragon 460 processor uh, now this processor is again uh, really good now few of the people uh, prefer qualcomm snapdragon processor than mediatek processor because uh, it has be it is you know quite tested and tried kind of an processor which is available in the market uh, 
talking about the battery it has got a massive 5000 mAh battery and the best part of this phone it has is, is that it has got the latest android 10 with stock android experience so you get a very neat and clean experience in this phone there are no lags there are no extra malware or advertisement that you often see in an android device now 9499 is really a good choice if you want a stock android experience and this phone is number two in my list which is moto e7 plus so guys go and check it out now finally guys we're gonna talk about my final pick of the top three phone in my list now this phone has got a bunch of features and if you have got a budget of rupees 10,000 I think this phone will tick on all the features that you are looking at so guys here I am talking about the Redmi 9 Prime and now this phone comes with a price range of 9999 and you should see what all features are available in this phone and definitely this phone in my list is number one phone and uh, I would highly recommend this phone to everyone who is looking at a gaming performance at the camera features at the performance and the build quality so I think this phone comes with a 4 GB of RAM and with 64 GB of storage which is 9999 and there is also an one more variant with uh, price around 12,000 rupees uh, it has got a dedicated micro SD slot uh, it has got a 6.553 inch screen or uh, with a full HD plus screen with an 180 pixel uh, screen density now viewing experience is really good in this phone and the content consumption uh, would be really uh, great uh, if I talk about the camera it has got a quiet camera support with 13 megapixel primary camera with 8 megapixel megapixel ultra wide lens which is definitely a plus point and with a 5 megapixel of macro lens and 2 megapixel depth sensing lens now if i talk about the front camera it has got an 8 megapixel front camera the processor if i talk about it has got a mediatek helio g series g80 octa core processor now g series is known for gaming and gaming experience is really good in this phone battery wise it has got a 5020 mh battery with 18 watts of fast charging so it also has got a fast charging which definitely would be helpful and handy uh, if i talk about the security it has got a fingerprint and face unlock features available in this phone so this phone is a fully fledged performance phone and i think you guys should go and check out redmi 9 prime which is available at a price range of 9999 rupees so guys these were my top three pick of phone which is a budget phone under a price range of rupees 10,000 if you have liked my video then please do like comment and subscribe to my channel for more such videos so guys thank you and I will see you in the next one bye